Gang, 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 look, man, what's popping with y'all, man, this morning? Look, good morning to all the kings and the queens out there. I am the host, Carnage Slaughter. Everybody, make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Hit that subscribe button while we get into it. Gang, gang, what's good with y'all, man? Uh, a lot of times, you know, it's, it's 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 hard telling somebody out there to just be theyself. Look at my cat, gang. Y'all see him? He geek. He jumping all up on the table. Um, <clears throat> it's hard to tell somebody to just be themselves because a lot of times, uh, people out here they don't know how to be themselves. You know what they know best is being somebody else. Um, I think right there, you know, they be having life fun. Up, you know, you got it fucked up. You got to be yourself, and sometimes yourself be the greatest you. It'd be greater than being that other person that you be on the daily. Um, I love being myself. You know, I, I grew up <clears throat> not knowing myself. I know just as a lot of y'all did, a lot of y'all didn't know who you was to start out with. A lot of y'all, you know, had to figure yourself out, right? You know, hit that like button if you had to figure out who you was growing up, you know. Um, until you got to that point, you know, you couldn't create the greatest you. You couldn't create the most excellentest you until you knew who you was, what you loved, what you dislike, what you hate, what you like, what you love to eat, favorite color. You know what I'm saying? Disliked colors, uh, people you don't like, people you love, um, <clears throat> all of the above. Out here is people out here right now, gang, as we speak, right? You know, that they still busy trying to figure out who they is or who they are or who they can identify with. Um, I think that right there is a dysfunction. They hit that motherfucking like button, that share button, subscribe to the fucking channel, and comment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a dysfunction, man. You know, I think if you're still trying to figure out who you is as of 2023, going in 2024, that's a dysfunction. Something is wrong with you. Something is wrong in your brain. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean just something, anything. I mean... You haven't took time to figure out life. You know what I'm saying? At some point in time in life, gang, you do skip over figuring out the algorithm to life. You know, a lot of people out here, they got to get that algorithm down pat. You know what I'm talking about? You got to figure out your algorithm to life, your life, not nobody else's. You got to figure out the energetical path that your life run on, you know, the course that your life is, is coursed on. Um, a lot of people out here, they don't know that path. They don't know that course. They never had a clue of what that course could be. Honestly, um, me personally, I had a clue. I had a vision of that when I was maybe 11, 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? That was just me being smarter than beyond. I was smarter than average. I was more smarter than the kids that, you know what I'm saying, was proclaiming me to be dumb. At the end of the day, um, <clears throat> when you realize that your mind thinks farther than the materialistic things that's in front of your eyesight, gang. You a cold motherfucker. You want cold motherfucker. When you recognize that you are connected energetically and spiritually to things, and, and that's how things move versus physically and uh, materialistically, you a cold person, you know, and that'll help you become yourself. That'll help you be the best yourself. That'll help you be the best you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember that old ass army commercial? Be all that you can be. I swear to God, that'll help you become the best you. That'll be all that you can be, gang. But a lot of times, people, they don't know who they want to be. They want to be Michael Jordan. People want to be LeBron James. You got some niggas out here, they want to be Kobe Bryant. You know, some niggas out here want to be Lil Wayne. You know, it's somebody out here that want to be me. But at the end of the day, it'll never be another us. It'll never be another me, you, them, her, he. Like, it, it, you, can't, you can't do that unless they cloning motherfuckers, you know, allegedly. Unless they cloning people. Um, But it'll never be no us, man. You know, we unique, genuine, we unique, uh, genuinely unique, you know, as a collectible of individuals. It's a lot of people, you know, that see you for you. And then it's a lot of people that see you for what they expect you to be. You know, don't be what nobody expected you to be. You be exactly what you wanted to be, what you envisioned of being in your head, gang. You know, that's the only way to make it. That's the only way to survive. And, and another thing, you never change yourself for nobody. I don't give a fuck what it is. They got to love you for that. You know what I'm talking about? They gotta love you for that. If you digging in your nose, my nigga, you flicking boogers. If you, if you, if you a slobby motherfucker when you sleep, if you snore real loud or something like that when you sleep, fuck that. Don't change that. Fuck them. They gotta love you for you. You know, some people want you to change for what? This me. 
This is how I come. I get better as I get older. I get better as I grow. I get better as I'm taught better. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they don't know how to do better because they ain't taught better. But motherfucker, if you can't love me for me, then it is what it is. And that right there, that 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 right there can play a card in people not knowing who they is or not, you know, uh, identifying with themselves, their true selves. That right there can play a big role in people not being able to identify with they, their passion in life and their purpose in life. You know what I'm talking about? Um, <clears throat> you don't want to be part of that role playing game right there. They hit that motherfucking like button, that share button, subscribe to the fucking channel and comment. Yeah, you don't want to be part of that. You know, you don't want to be the reason a person didn't believe in themselves. You don't want to be that reason, gang. Um, a lot of people they flex on the internet, you know, because they don't believe in themselves. A lot of people they flex on the internet, not only just the internet, but in person. They flex in the physical form. You know what I'm saying? Hoping that the, the 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 watchers or the listeners and watchers believe them. Hoping that us observers believe them and you know the things they flexing on and how they acting and the behavior they carrying out and the characteristics that they showing us, gang. None of that shit matters. You know what I'm talking about? None of that shit matters. At the end of the day, what matters is who you is at heart. At the end of the day, what matters is how you really feel in heart, gang. Some of y'all don't some that that fly over y'all head. You know, that fly over y'all here. Definitely the young cats. The young cats don't even know what to think no more. They ain't even got no older OG or no elder OG here teaching them anything. You know, I ain't learned nothing yet from no artists, no rappers, nobody out here that's 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 younger than me or my age. I ain't learned nothing. And nobody taught me nothing different. Shout out to 19 Keys, though. I learned a lot from him. Shout out Yaki. I learned a lot from Gang, you know. And shout out to everybody else. I learned a lot from y'all, but it wasn't the best. You know what I'm saying? It was some of the worst. You know, uh, it wasn't the most positive thing it wasn't the most you know beneficial thing to my life but it was some of the worst it was some of the worst negativest thing to my life that i possibly didn't want to relate to didn't want to you know cordialate to didn't want to be surrounded by but at the end of the day it's a lot of cats out here who think you know they being themselves right now you ain't being you you being a person you look up to and a person you look up to ain't even themselves you feel me because that generation haven't learned how to be themselves yet they looking up to somebody and the person they looking up to ain't themselves because that generation haven't learned how to be themselves yet, haven't learned how to tap in with their true selves, gang. Um, some people say it takes certain things to bring certain truth out of you. You know, I remember uh saying used to be like, man, a drunk person is the truest person, is the most truthful person. No, a drunk person just saying what's on their mind will come first to their mind a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? We got regular people out here like that. We got natural people that's born to really say and tell you how it is. That's born to say what comes to their mind. You know, that shit flows out like water. At the end of the day, we got people that hide, you know, what they feel and what they want to say to you. I, I used to be one of the people. I used to hide a lot of things I used to think and feel, you know, and say. Uh, um, and I shelter myself in my mind because I knew that could nobody break in my mind. You couldn't get in my mind and understand what I'm thinking and how I'm thinking. So at the end of the day, I can keep my mouth quiet all day and sit around, but my mind is thinking. And don't nobody know what I'm thinking about. That right there is one of the coldest things, too. That right there is what created me into me, who I am right now today. That, that created a thinker. You know, I could see her all day in, 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 a, in a crowded room, gang, and keep my mouth quiet. I'm talking about the whole time. But the whole time, my mind running. I'm thinking. You feel me? My mind is, is, is optimistic with thoughts. My mind is scaling. You feel me? My mind is observing and looking around and taking in information and it's putting out information into my own mind. And all I do is regurgitate it. You feel me? And then I rejuvenate that information. And then I just re-put it back out there in my own mind. I never put it out there verbally. And nobody ever know what your mind thinking like, gang. So it's hard for them to break in and figure you out. You know, that's what makes it so mysterious. And that's what makes it the coldest thing because... Like like Michael Myers said, and I know it's a movie, but at the end of the day, one saying they did put in that movie that was so, you know, so um, close to real life is you got to live in your head. You do. You got to live in your head. You can't live out <clears throat> in a physical world. You can't live out worldly. You know, living out worldly, it brings you problems. It brings people to judge you. It brings people to point things out about you. It brings people to say things about you. When you live in your head, you don't got to get judged. When you live in your head, you are the teacher. When you live in your head, you are the judge. When you live in your head, gang, can't nobody say, hey, yo, I don't like the way you're thinking. I don't like what you're saying. Motherfucker, you can't even hear what I'm saying. You can't hear what I'm thinking because I never said it out loud. It's only flowing through my head. It's playing through my head, gang. And, and and you know, us Pisces, I'm sorry to say, but that's what we do. We, we thinkers, gang. You know, our minds run. Our minds is like a vehicle engine. You know what I'm saying? It's running. 
Um, <clears throat> and, and, and can't nothing hit that motherfucking like button, that share button, subscribe to the fucking channel, and comment. At the end of the day, um, you got to, you know, not be afraid to be yourself, but don't flex with it. Don't put too much flex on it. Don't brag and boast too much. Don't you humble, humble yourself. Basically, don't let nobody know that. Yeah, I am the shit. I am the man. I am the person. No, keep that shit quiet. You don't want no attention. You know, when I grew up, I never wanted attention on me, even though I knew I was skillful, even though I knew I was damn near cold with everything I do, even though I knew I was a king and I can master everything I do from rapping to vlogging from school work to reading to writing you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i didn't exert that you know what i'm saying i didn't just fully put that out there like hey yo look i'm the smartest guy in the world hey yo look i can do this i can do that no 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 you will have to get to know me to figure that out you feel me and due to the fact i'm not so trustworthy it's hard for you to get to know me gang i ain't gonna let you next to me i ain't gonna let you near my circle as a matter of fact i didn't have a circle I'm saying I was always to myself. I'm a loner. Pisces are loners. We love to stay alone. We love to be alone. You know what I'm saying? We work better alone. You know, uh, uh, um, we get exclusive work done when no one's around. And, and we we leave that door open for people to look at us and wonder, like, how did you do that? Like you is you, you great. How did you do that? But at the end of the day, you know, I learned to be myself within those times of isolation, within those times of staying to myself in the crib, chilling. You know what I'm saying? On the computer, studying, researching, whatever it was I was doing, playing the game, writing uh, lyrics, writing music. I was learning. I was teaching myself. I was I was reflecting. You feel me? I was I was getting a resolution of my life. I was creating a new character. I was creating a new being, you know, in that whole time, um, <clears throat> which a lot of us should be doing, gang. A lot of us should be trying to do. Um, at the end of the day, though, you know, I learned who I was. I learned who, who I wanted to be who I wanted to become, you know what I'm saying, as a Zoe. I learned that a lot of y'all still having trouble with that, and that's why you got problems with other people. That's why you can't get along with other people. That's why you can't relate to nobody. That's why you can't come up with a subject to talk about with nobody, and they want to stay in conversation with you because you seem weird, right? No, you got to change that, man. Just be yourself. Just be yourself. Stop flexing for everybody. Stop flexing for attention and be yourself, gang. You know, ain't nothing wrong with you. You perfect. You know, I love you just like you is. I love you just how you are. You know, if nobody ever told you that, I'm telling you now, like you're perfect, gang. All you got to do is just be you and let that exert. Let the you exert and scale yourself. You feel me? Scale yourself. Be better than you was today. Be the best you tomorrow. Be way better than you was today. And I know that sound hard and I know that sound confusing, but it's not. You know, all it takes is thinking, mind. You know what I'm saying? That's why I live in my mind, because at the end of the day, I'm teaching myself how to do better than what I did yesterday. You know what? Yesterday, I fucked up here, there, there, there. I ain't going to do that today. I'm going to do better than that. I ain't going to fuck up here. I remember that, so I ain't going to do that today. You know what I'm saying? It, it takes baby steps. And after baby steps, you will get the wrong folk steps, walking and running. The next thing you know, you jogging on this shit. You flying. You soaring. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you catch up to life's algorithm. You got to pay attention to yourself. You know, you got to pay attention to yourself. You're a living being. You got to pay attention to your energy. You got to pay attention to how you uh, uh, respond, your feelings. You got to pay attention to all that. Another thing, never let your feelings get shown out there. You know, never show them how you truly feel. Never show them if you're upset. Never show them if you're happy. Never show them if you're feeling sad. Never show them if you're feeling up because people play off that. People treat you according. So if you're feeling sad one day, people are going to treat you like that. You know, people are going to talk to you in a sad way. People are going to ask you sad questions. If you're feeling happy one day, people are going to treat you like that. Some people don't like when you're happy, though. So never always exert your happiness to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's the devil and everybody gang. And that devil don't like when a nigga doing good and they happy. But at the end of the day, you got to, you know, you just got to think, man. Use your brain a little bit more. Um, I held y'all too long, 14 minutes too long. Look, I love y'all, man. Y'all make sure y'all take care. Stay safe. I am out, man. Uh, it's more, you know, where that came from. We have to do that in another video. Uh, other than that, I'm gone, man. Y'all be safe. Gang, I really appreciate y'all, man, for tapping in with Mess Free Podcast. You feel me? I am the host, Colonel Slaughter. Hey, <clears throat> thank y'all so much, man. Why don't y'all, everybody, why don't y'all hit that like, that subscribe, that share, and comment. All four, gang. All four. You feel me? And stay tapped in, man. I stay dropping more content for y'all. Y'all already know that. I love y'all. Y'all keep y'all head up. Stay safe. Stay dangerous. Stay out the fucking way. And get to the money. I'm out, man.